fellow watch lovers. Today we're looking at the, the Picani Design PD1716. It is a PB36 homage. First, let's take a look at some of the specifications of the watch. We do have a sapphire crystal, a loomed dial, uh, and loomed hands and indices with the snowflake hands, as well as we have a date window that is also white with black letters, effectively the matching date window. We have stainless steel case that has brushing and polishing. So we have brushing on the top. We have side that is polished, polished bezel or brushed on the, on the top. The sides are polished both on the bracelet and the clasp. The middle clasp, exhibition case back. The exhibition case back is mineral crystal. It has some engraving for the details of the model number and water resistance. The milled clasp uh, has three micro adjustments. Uh, no on the fly movement is the double pusher from Pagani Design. I tend to like these uh, because it's not as sharp um, on the corners as some of their other clasps that they have. We do have female in links. The only real criticism on it is just how how loose they are here and it yeah you know, the the fit to the case is fine or i I should say it's acceptable on one side and then the other side is is a bit loose and you can see the movement and the play there and then the movement all over the entire bracelet is just not as well executed as. I'd personally like it to be, and that's really kind of the main downside uh, to this piece, in my mind. But I do like the fact that they now have it all brushed um, on the top and the sides. When they originally released this, it it was a combination of uh, polishing and brushing, and I personally didn't think that that looked all that great. Interesting things on the dial noted before that it's is uh, fully loomed this comes in multiple colors but the white version is the only one that is actually uh, has the loom on the hands indices as well as on the dial and so it glows a little bit of a green tint everywhere hands are well, well proportioned they minute hand goes out to the the minute track and the second hand also goes out to the minute track as well if you follow my channel, you know that I'm a sucker for snowflake hands. They're my favorite type of handset, so I appreciate that. On this piece, uh, the black edges to the hands do make them stand off, even though we're dealing with white hands, white dial. I think they did a good job making it so that they do stand out enough. Printing on the dial with the Pagani Design logo, Pagani Design written at the 12 o'clock position, and at 6 o'clock we have automatic in the second line of 10 bar, 100 meters. The watch has the typical NH35 movement made in Japan by Seiko. I personally like the, this movement. I think it, there, it's, always, it's always the right choice in my mind because easy to service, they're reliable. I say easy to service, typically what you would do is you would go and actually have a watchmaker replace it instead of actually servicing it because it would probably save you a little bit of money by doing that when the time comes. The beautiful thing is just the the reliability and the, the smooth function of them. Now, the crown execution on this particular watch is not as perfect as it is on so many of my other Pagani designs. As you know, follow my channel. I've owned well over 30 Pagani design watches, uh, so I'm familiar with the brand i'm familiar with the pieces that they make and the execution on this one every now and then the stop function and pushing it back in to get it to wind isn't quite as perfect as it is on uh, some of my other pieces now that isn't to say you can't get it to work i'm just saying that every now and then there'll be some little hang up and off to fiddle with it a little bit to get it to pull out stop the time and push it back in 
Haven't had any major issues with it yet. Obviously, we'll spend more time with it. It's a little unusual, and I don't think, and I think it's probably just that quality control thing with Pagani Design that you run into every now and then where, or something on a particular watch isn't quite what you get with maybe the next one off the line, that type of thing. I've seen other reviews on this one, and they didn't have that problem, so it could just be the one off of, of this particular one. So I sized up for my seven and a half inch wrist. It's 133 grams, so it's fairly light overall. But that's also to be somewhat expected as we kind of get into uh, the dimensions here. This is a, a smaller watch than some others, close to 37 millimeters in width, about a 20 inch width uh, bracelet here. It goes down to about 18 and then back up to just under 20. The case thickness is actually under 12 millimeters, so that's a nice bonus on uh, NH35 powered watch. So it does have female end links, which makes it hug the wrist with this being a little bit smaller watch than what I'm normally used to wearing. It's going to be able to fit under a shirt cuff. Uh, shirt sleeve a little bit better than some other watches because of the that nice small size to the case. I think it fits well. Um, if it wasn't for that uh, jangly bracelet, then that would be kind of my, my main complaint area for that could clearly easily be improved and would love to see them start doing that and focusing a little bit more attention on the bracelet because the head of the piece is, is very nice. So we do have a flat sapphire crystal on the top. Uh, it does have a little bit of that beveled edge to it. I really like the white dial and having the white dial uh, being loomed on this particular model is, is a, I think, a nice touch. Uh, the other Dial colors are not fully loom dials. Uh, yes, they have the hands and the indices loomed, but they do not have that. Now, it would be nice if they were using C3 Super Luminova so that it glowed brighter and longer and all that and having multiple layers on it. But uh, it, the loom is better than a lot of other Pagani designs, but it's nothing you know fantastic. It's definitely not San Martin level or anything like that. So my overall thoughts on the piece, uh, I personally, really like the styling on this one. The size is also great, especially if you have a smaller wrist. I have a seven and a half inch wrist and this is still works for me. Uh, it's a little bit more classically styled. Uh, I think 37 is actually a really good point. 36 starts feeling a little bit small for me personally, um, but you know, has a bit, of the, a bit of the retro look and feel to that. But I think this one still feels nice and, and modern with the, the sizing and, and styling here. I do wish that class, uh, do wish the bracelet was upgraded. That would make this even a more of a standout for me, but quality is pretty good. And if you're, depending on how close and tight you wear it, it may not be an issue to you. I tend to wear my mind a little bit loose and therefore the jangly aspect of the poor tolerances becomes a little more obvious and noticeable as you're wearing it. If you put this on uh, another strap, then of course all those problems go away. Personally, probably would have uh, liked a no date version on this. Uh, the Tiffany blue version is a no date, but most of the other ones do have a date window. Uh, I would like to have it with uh, no date, but that's a personal preference and at least the Wheel is more or less color matched here on this particular uh, color. Not as bad as it could have been. Definitely recommend picking one of these up on, on sale if you're into the style uh, and whatnot. Uh, I got a, a nice discount on these on one of the, the sales and and for the price I paid, uh, you know, absolutely worth it. Full retail asking price, you have to ask yourself, is the, is the bracelet gonna be worth it to you? Everything else, about it, you gotta give them some credit for kind of upgrading the loom at least a little bit compared to some of their other watches and timepieces that they've done. And there are not too many uh, other options on the market at this 
price at this price point with this type of style. Uh, certainly worthy of some consideration there. Well, I hope you found this review helpful, and uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content.